closely. Do you see the soldiers in those holes? They are enemies. The Enemy, a book about peace. Written by David Kelly and illustrated by Serge Blotch. The enemy is there, but I have never seen him. Every morning, I shoot at him. Then he shoots at me. We both stay hidden the rest of the day, waiting. Even when I'm hungry, I wait. I do not make a cooking fire. The enemy could sneak up when I'm not looking and kill me. But sometimes, I am so hungry I light my fire as soon as I do. The enemy lights his. Except for hunger, the enemy and I have nothing in common. He is a wild beast. He does not know mercy. I know this because I read it in my manual. A long time ago, on the first day of war, we were given a manual and a gun. The manual tells us everything about the enemy. It says that we must kill him before he kills us. If he kills us, he will also kill our families and our pets, burn down our forests, even poison our water. The enemy is not a human being. Sometimes I think the others have forgotten us. Maybe the war is over and no one remembered to tell us. Or maybe the world does not exist anymore. Maybe we are the last two soldiers fighting. Maybe whichever one of us survives will win the war. I have almost nothing to eat. Once I nearly caught a lizard that came close to my hole. Then I thought, if he sees me eating a lizard, the enemy will think I am desperate. Luckily, there is water from the well. I must be watchful. 
the enemy could poison it when I'm not looking. At night, there are lots of stars above my hole. I wonder if the enemy sees them too. Maybe if he looked at them, he would understand that war is pointless and it must stop. But I can't be the first to stop fighting because he will kill me. I would not kill him if he stopped first because I am a man, I am not a beast. It is raining again and I hate the rain. The war needs to end because I cannot stay in this hole any longer. Last night, the beating of the rain kept me awake. As I sat, I thought that soon there won't be a moon. If I leave my hole, then the enemy won't be able to see me. I thought soon the war could end. At last, it is time. I put on disguise number three, the bush, and leave. It is chilly, but the disguise keeps me warm. I crawl towards the enemy's hole to surprise him. I am going to kill him. Then the war will be over and I can go home to my family. I have made a mistake. There are lions at night and they can see in the dark. I just spotted one and must stay still. I am lucky the lion is leaving. At last, I reached the enemy's hole. But no one is here. He must be here. His things are here. There are pictures of his family. I, I wasn't expecting him to have a family. And what's this? A manual just like mine? But there is a difference. In this one, the enemy has my face. This manual is full of lies. I am a man, not a monster. I am not the one who started this war. It is near dawn and there is no sign of the enemy. Suddenly, I know where he is. He is in my hole. He tried to sneak up on me to end the war. Now I can't leave his hole. If only he would send me a message saying, let's end the war now. I would agree to it right away. So what is he waiting for? I am tired of waiting. There are clouds in the sky. It is going to rain again and I hate the rain. I write a message on a handkerchief and put it in a plastic bottle. I close the bottle, aim carefully, and throw it. I hope my bottle falls in his hole. The end! So, what do you think, Cristiano, about the enemy? I think the enemy wanted to end the war. Yeah? Yeah. And, okay, yeah, they both wanted the war to end. You think so, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that, I, I love this book. It pretty much shows you, not just with war, but it's kind of pointless for friends to be mean to each other too, or to be upset with each other. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all make mistakes, and we all have our families, and we all have things that we love. Kids, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button. Parents, you can find us here every Monday with a new book that we're reading. Thank you so much for reading with us today. <laughs> and we're out.